today we're going to be looking at the top six elementary schools in Kitchener Waterloo. Did you know that the top factor families consider when picking a house isn't just the house itself, but the quality of the schools in that district? Studies show that schools in top school districts sell faster and for more money. So it's very clear that picking a home in a top school district is important to families. And that's why today we're going to be looking at the top six elementary schools in Kitchener Waterloo. Kitchener Waterloo, known for its urban and natural landscapes, is a tech innovation hub with a high quality of life. Its diverse communities, parklands, and cultural richness complement an educational landscape marked by academic excellence and innovation. It's perfect for families and investors. Kitchener Waterloo offers something for everyone, making it an ideal home. Before we dive in, let's take a look at the criteria that we're using to come up with these top six schools. For sure. So when we were looking at these top schools, we were taking into consideration academic performance, the facilities, extracurricular activities that they offer, and general feedback from the public as well. Now, in order to rank the schools, we use the Fraser Institute School of Rankings. Basically, they take a look at academic scores and give each school a number out of a scale of 10. The average score across schools is about a six out of 10. And we were taking a look at schools with only an 8.5 or higher. Keep in mind, anything with a seven out of 10 or higher is considered a good score. So today we're taking a look at the best of the best. Starting with number six on our list is Glen Cairn Public School. Located in the Country Hills neighborhood of Kitchener, this school has a Fraser Institute score of 8.5 out of 10, and they serve from junior kindergarten to grade six. Glen Karen focuses on providing an inclusive community, and they focus on academic success and the social growth of their students. It services about 350 students at their location. We are real estate agents, so our main job is to help people buy and sell homes. If you or anybody you know needs help with that, feel free to let us know. You can give us a call, text, email, or leave a comment below in this video. Coming in at number five on our list is Mary Johnston Public School with a score of 8.8 .8 out of 10. This school is located in the west part of Waterloo in the Beechwood neighborhood, and it serves JK to grade six with an English core as well as French immersion classes. The school is surrounded by natural spaces with playgrounds, fields, and play areas. Mary Johnston Public School aims to build students' confidence and their ability to advocate for their educational needs. The school focuses on academic, leadership, and extracurricular activities, and it also has a very active student council along with a parents' involvement committee with monthly meetings that involves them in the school's decision-making process. They also offer extracurricular activities such as sports teams, a variety of arts and community clubs, STEM fairs, which stands for science, technology, engineering, and maths, as well as a math night, movie night, and various other activities. Coming in at number four is Vista Hills Public School. Located on the western edge of Waterloo in the new Vista Hills neighborhood, they come in with a Fraser Institute score of a whopping 8.8 .8 out of 10. One of the newer schools in the region, its doors opened in September 2016, and the large school accommodates a large student body as well, with about 800 students going to Vista Hills. The student body is also quite diverse, with a good percentage of students having English as a second language. This really showcases the multicultural community that Vista Hills serves. The exterior of the school is also something that's quite impressive, with an artistic design to it, a uh, futuristic feel to it. Uh, they've got a two-story lobby in there, bright modern colors. It's really something to see. In addition to that, they have a large outdoor play area as well as protected areas. The school's vision states, living and learning in a 21st century culture of innovation and collaboration with a foundation of solid character and strong community. The school focuses on creating a learning hub for its community, and it emphasizes collaboration between its staff, students, parents, and overall community. The school has an innovative approach to community and character development, and they're considered a hero generation school, for which the acronym is Hope, Efficacy, Resilience, and Optimism. The school also has an active student council and parent involvement committee. 
Coming in the top three and actually the top school in Kitchener alone is Lackner Woods Public School. Located in the east side of Kitchener in the Lackner Woods neighborhood, this school opened up in 2001 and it boasts a Fraser Institute score of 8.9 out of 10. Their motto of one for all and all for one reflects their community-centric ethos. The school is set near a large woodlot designated as an environmentally sensitive protective area, offering students a unique blend of natural learning spaces alongside traditional classroom environments. From JK to grade six, Lackner Woods is home to roughly 600 students, and it emphasizes lifelong learning, active participation, and a caring, collaborative community. Their high academic scores with the Fraser Institute underscore the school's commitment to high educational standards and student development. Coming in at number two is Abraham Erb Public School located in the Laurelwood neighborhood of Waterloo and they come in with an impressive score of 9 out of 10. The school serves from junior kindergarten up to grade 6. The school offers both English and French immersion options and it's one of the highly regarded schools in the Waterloo region. Abraham Erb Public School prides itself on maintaining the high educational standards. The student body is just under 500 students and what's impressive about this is that over half of them don't have English as a first language at home. Now, the parents to these students are highly educated, working in professional, technical and managerial roles. Abraham Erb is also a hero school, which is a very special designation for a school to have. It also comes equipped with a library with awesome computers and it provides extracurricular activities such as dodgeball, basketball, math club, chess club, and many others. And in case you're wondering who Abraham Erb is and why the school was named after him, Abraham Erb is actually the founding father of the city of Waterloo. Coming in top of the list, we have Laurelwood Public School. As you could guess, it's located in the Laurelwood community and it has a Fraser Institute score of 9.2 out of 10. That's number one in Kitchener Waterloo. And this school also offers both English and French immersion programs. Much like Abraham Erb, over half of the students don't have English as a first language. So again, it showcases that multicultural community that it serves. Laurelwood School offers a spacious campus and they have a focus on STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. Now, it's not a fluke that they're coming in number one on our list with such a high score because Laurelwood Public School consistently ranks as a top school in Kitchener-Waterloo. The school has an emphasis in extracurricular activities and academic contests to enrich their students' experience. Some examples include the Polar Expressions Short Story Contest, Remembrance Day Literacy and Poster Contest, and the Go Code Girl program at the University of Waterloo. Laurelwood also offers a music program that's very involved and diversified throughout the school. Serving students from JK to grade eight, Laurelwood strives to develop characteristics in their students, including respect, empathy, and collaboration. So with everything we've seen about Laurelwood Public School, it's really easy to see why they come in at number one on our list. In terms of the real estate landscape around these top schools, as we mentioned at the start of the video, so homes located around top schools sell faster and for more money. And this is obvious in Kitchener-Waterloo as well. All the neighborhoods that these schools are in are in high demand. We frequently have parents asking us to view homes in those neighborhoods. And it's no wonder that the top neighborhood in Kitchener-Waterloo, Laurelwood, has two of the top schools in the region. Again, we can't emphasize enough how important it is to consider the schools that your children might be going to once you move into the new area. If you need help looking into or getting more detailed information about the schools or areas that you're considering, please feel free to reach out to us. You can leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.